Hello everyone and welcome to Kerbal Space Program RP1. Today we are going to see how I've worked towards establishing first long-term lunar base. Before I could start with landing actual base, I had to send some new modules to my tower station orbiting the moon, as it has very important role to play. It will host astronauts on their way to the base and will also serve as a fuel depot for reusable lander. The lounge you are seeing now will bring new docking hub, allowing for docking of five new modules to the station. The lounge vehicle is a Genie, with Hydrolog's upper stage, easily allowing for shooting 10 tons straight at the moon. A small propulsion section with RCS and an engine will be just enough for correction burns and rendezvous. After entering Lunar SOI, just a small push was needed to get into intercept course with the station. Rendezvous was successful, and after a short wait to get to the day site, docking procedure was performed. Propulsion section was not needed anymore, so it was detached. Instead of simply deorbiting it and hitting the moon, I've decided to use the rest of the fuel and to bring it back to Earth. Well, to Earth upper atmosphere at least, as it burned up quite vigorously during re-entry. First, key upgrade is completed. To prepare this habitat for its extended role as middle ground between Earth and the Moon, it will also need some more supplies to support increased amount of astronauts. Supplies are launched by Junior Rocket, but this time in its regular Carolux configuration, and with additional upper stage for TLI burn. It's a proven design used already for regular operation of tower station. Rendezvous was smooth and docking looked great with Earth in the background. With supplies stripped, now it's time to get some big Hydrolux tanks to the side. Such massive payloads are of course launched by Naga Heavy, powered by eco-friendly Pentaboran.
this configuration features additional hydrolock stage for the transfer. Tank is separated and continues on its own. Propulsion section features two RL10 engines feeding straight from the main tank. Thrust of those engines is not very impressive for almost 100 ton assembly so I've overshot the station a bit, but a quick follow-up maneuver put it again on a rendezvous trajectory. RC's placement was not very balanced, so docking has to be done manually. Liquid hydrogen and oxygen needs to be kept cool for storage, so next module was a truss with four massive radiators to get rid of excess heat. Made rocket with fourth stage using twin RD58s get the truss into position. After rendezvous, truss separates from the transfer and braking stage and performs docking on its own. Extended radiators dissipate huge amount of heat, so cryogenic fuel can be stored for long periods of time. Construction works are moving quickly, we are closer and closer to completion. Now, another identical fuel tank launches to increase fuel storage even more. In retrospect, this launch was not really needed, as this double amount of hydrologs will suffice for dozens of landings. Yet, better to be safe than sorry.
this time I've undershot the breaking point a bit, so I needed uh, another small push to get to the station. The station with two golden balls and long shaft looks so majestic, isn't it? Finally, time has come to launch the lunar base. Of course, it was launched using Naga, but this time augmented with two massive RSRBs. They provide a lot of thrust to help up with initial TWR, and they produce a beautiful smoke trail. Ring separates showing the design. It has plenty of habitable space, science lab, and integrated landing system. Base will briefly wait in Leo for the tag that will be responsible for the transfer. And the tag is launched on Naga Heavy with four additional boosters, as its mass is over 325 tons. Such a payload is a bit too much even for that rocket, so the tag will have to fire up its dual RL200s to finish the orbit. Rendezvous and docking maneuvers went as planned, and the base is ready to depart to its destination. But it will be featured in the next video that will be coming really soon, so keep an eye on your subscription feed for the part 2. That would be all for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you again in my next video.